friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Mom shocks the world as she gives birth to her sixth child, a 16-pound newborn. Written by Heather Riggleman, read by Adam State. A mom shocks the world as she gives birth to her sixth child, a 16-pound newborn. And what a huge blessing this child is. Glenn Diane Santos dos Santos of Brazil loves being a mom. She couldn't wait to meet her son, but never expected him to arrive, weighing twice as much as most newborns. She certainly didn't expect this surprise. When her son Anderson arrived at the C section, Glenn Diane was blessed he arrived safely without health complications. I thought it would be four kilos, but he came to seven kilos, she said. My youngest child was born weighing over 10 pounds. The doctors, nurses, and staff were stunned. They couldn't give her the honorary knitted hats they give to newborns because nothing fit. As for diapers, that was a whole new story as well. It was a complete relief the 16-pound newborn was born healthy. I imagine Clint Diane is enamored with his extra chubby cheeks and thighs on top of chubby fingers and toes. Most babies born weighing larger than life tend to have health complications like diabetes or an elevated blood count. Some babies arrive with a broken collarbone or another type of injury. The baby is definitely a miracle and arrives safely. What a blessing. The 16-pound newborn currently holds the record for being the biggest baby in his home state. Glenn Diane now has another job when she arrives home with her son, going through all the newborn clothes he had prepared for his arrival. Instead of wearing newborn sizes, I imagine he will be wearing 12 to 18 month size of clothes. He skipped the whole first year. No matter what our size, God created us all in his image. May the baby continue to thrive and grow big and strong. May his life bless his parents as they raise this sweet baby boy together. For you created in my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139, 13 through 14. Hey there, it's Nicole Eunice from the How to Study the Bible podcast, and I'd love to invite you to join us as we weekly discover a passage of God's Word together. From beginning to end, from principles to practicals, we are here to make sure that God's Word is powerful and relevant to your life. If that sounds like something you're looking for, I would love to invite you to subscribe. You can go to lifeaudio.com and search How to Study the Bible, and we'll see you there. Bindi Irwin pays tribute to her late father on what would have been Steve Irwin's birthday. Written by Mel Johnson, read by Adam State. The crocodile hunter may no longer walk this earth, but on what would have been Steve Irwin's birthday, his children left the rest of us in tears with their touching, heartfelt tributes. After losing a loved one, they are gone but certainly not forgotten, and certain milestones will pop up, reminding us of just how much we miss them. In those moments, it's hard not to see the whole created by their absence, but we can also celebrate the impact they made in our lives during their time on earth and be inspired. And that's just what Bindi Irwin and her brother Robert Irwin did on what would have been Steve Irwin's birthday. Born February 22nd, 1962, Steve Irwin grew up in Australia. The Lord clearly gave this man a heart for taking care of all God's creatures. The charismatic zookeeper and environmentalist became known Worldwide, as the crocodile hunter in his hit TV series of the same name, Steve Irwin shared his passion for caring for and conserving wildlife with his wife, Terry, and his children, Bindi and Robert. And the crocodile hunter's vibrant personality made it easy to forget the danger involved in his job. Sadly, though, while filming a documentary on dangerous animals in 2006, Steve Irwin passed away at 44 years old after a barb from a stingray pierced his heart. His family carried on, honoring Steve Irwin's dying wish to keep the Australia Zoo going. And when the anniversary of Steve Irwin's birthday rolled around, his family paid tribute on social media. Steve Irwin's widow, 
Carrie Irwin wished her late husband a happy birthday in heaven. She shared old and new photos alike, assuring Steve he'd done good. Steve Irwin's son, Robert Irwin, also took a moment to wish his late dad a happy birthday, sharing a photo of the two of them when Robert was a baby. And even the Australian Zoo paid tribute to the man who dedicated his life to caring for all of God's critters, big and small. But perhaps one of the sweetest and most heartfelt messages came from Steve's daughter, Bindi Irwin. Bindi, who is now a mother herself, spent time reflecting on her father's legacy in her moving post. She credited Steve for instilling in her a deep love for wildlife of all kinds, something she hopes to pass along to her daughter, Grace Warrior Irwin Powell, and Bindi credits her dad with inspiring her to always make a difference. Your legacy lives on, and the world is forever changed because of your dedication to conservation, she wrote. Mom, Robert, and I love and miss you so much. Bindi's touching words are a powerful reminder of what it means to live life well. Their father has been gone longer than the years spent with him. And yet, the impact Steve Irwin made in the brief time he had with Bindi and Robert has lasted all their lives. What a wonderful legacy this man has left behind. A righteous man walks in integrity. Blessed are his children after him. Proverbs 27. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production. world can feel chaotic and uncertain, but we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised you and I his peace, and throughout scripture, he has provided powerful truths and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and grow our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com.